board monitoring comes into play whenever we're monitoring the board job process policies and the board general manager relationship policies. Um, oftentimes for executive limitations monitoring, we're receiving lengthy written reports with a lot of data from the general manager and it's kind of intuitive for boards to think we should have a similar kind of report as we're monitoring the policies about how we or the board are doing our jobs. Um, that is really challenging as a board to have that kind of monitoring format sometimes because we're relying on one person, for example, to write a report, which takes a lot of time. And if you're trying to distribute that work throughout the entire board over the course of the different policies you're monitoring, you have such a variation of experience of directors who are supposed to be writing these policy monitoring reports. So I think there's a question of the efficacy of that and the efficiency of that. There's an alternative method that's proven to be really useful and can be really robust, even more valuable to the board, which is using a survey format to ask the entire board to evaluate the performance for each sub-policy. And that involves basically asking every member of the board to look at the sub-policies and rank on a scale of, for example, one to five, um, how well are we doing what we said we were going to do. There can also be an option of saying, I don't know how we did, but by getting the entire board to fill that out, for one thing, it's not a process that takes a long time. It adds the value of having every member of the board really reflect deeply on this policy and how they would possibly answer this question. And then it provides results in a quantitative format that can be a very efficient way of having a board discussion to see where the work is. So for example, if you use a scale of one to five with one being we're really not doing what we said we were gonna do and five being we're doing great, um, when you have quantitative summaries, an average of all the board's responses, you can see where you have um, really high scores, really low average scores. You can also see where you have a wide disparity in the opinion <laughs> of how well we're doing and that's worthy of discussion. And you can also see where you have a lot of board members saying, I don't know how we're doing and that also highlights something that might be worth talking about as the board. So by switching this approach, you can really save the board time and you can potentially come up with much better outcomes because you know what conversations you need to have.